Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I know the lighting is terrible right now. It's a dark day, but I want to show you the newest rag quilt that I made. This one is for my cousin. It's all fabrics that belonged to her mother. I did make this one the same size blocks as the Christmas quilt tutorial. I'll have a link down below for that. But I did add a row. This one has six rows and it even could have used seven if you really wanted to cover the pillow or even eight for a twin size bed. It'll make a nice size even to just cover up with on the couch. And I'm going to try to go in better lighting now to show you the extra fringing that I did to make it more raggedy. And I also want to show you the back. It's like a maroon plaid. And when you quilt as you go like that, you know, it makes the whole entire quilt quilted. You can see my X's and the squares it creates when you put the blocks together. So let's go look at the raggedy part. If you watched my rag quilt tip sewing tutorial, I can't remember exactly what I called it. I'll have the link down below along with the Christmas quilt and also at the end of this video on the end cards, new feature that YouTube has. I love it. Anyway, in the rag quilt tip, it's hard to say. I showed you guys how you could add just a strip of fabric between your rag squares to make it raggedier without using a whole 12 inch block. So I'm just going to show you how that turned out. It turned out great. So let's see here. Let's see if I can find like two darker squares or like right here. See this corner? How, where am I? How puffy it is. And you can see the little bit of the flannel on the inside. The lighting is not good. But it just came out really, really good. Here's some more that you can see. Very soft. I used a thinner batting on this one and I like it so much better than the one that I made for my mother. I did try at first to use just flannel as the filler instead of the batting, but I don't know. I like the puffiness that batting adds. And I use just cheap polyester batting so it makes it very light. If you like a heavier blanket, you'd want to go with 100% cotton batting. So this is what it looks like in this lighting. And I'm very, very happy with it. Just fun. Fun to make. Terrible lighting. I've got to stop complaining about that. I do. I need a camera crew. <laughs> That's what I want for Christmas. And a haircut by myself. That is it, folks. I had told you I'd show you how raggedy it got, and I did. So I will be back with more soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!